20 years ago to the day, the federal ban on assault weapons expired. In the two decades since, we have seen heartbreak and countless lives lost due to gun violence. Our Nicole Skanga spoke to organizers fighting to reinstate the ban. We have this endless list of communities that have been impacted um, by these tragedies, and the common denominator is legal access to assault weapons. These are weapons of war that were designed for the battlefield. CBS News Homeland Security and Justice reporter Nicole Skanga joins us now for more on this. Nicole, walk us through the direct impact we have seen since this ban expired 20 years ago. Lindsay, since the ban expired in late 2004, we've seen not only a rise in the number of mass shootings, but we've seen those mass shootings where the gunman is armed with assault weapons and high capacity magazines are more dangerous with more people killed and more people injured. Researchers estimate estimate that if the assault weapons ban was in effect from 2015 through 2019, it would have prevented mass shootings that resulted in 1,478 people shot and killed or wounded. Take a look at this map. There are nine states that prohibit the purchase and possession of assault weapons, high-powered semi-automatic firearms, including AR-15s and AR-47 rifles. But as we know, the concern in these states is that without a federal ban, consumers can just purchase these weapons in another state. And unfortunately, the situation has only gotten worse in recent years. According to the nonprofit Every Town for Gun Safety, between 2015 and 2022, mass shootings with four or more people killed where assault weapons were used resulted in, get this, 23 times as many people wounded per incident on average. Right. I mean, these um, these shooters with ill intent are able to inflict so much more damage and catastrophe. I mean, I, I know at least one, if not several of the children in the Uvalde massacre could only be identified by their articles of clothing because of the massacre. I mean, just let that sink in again. And Nicole, you spoke with that organizer who was just at the White House. What did she say about her and others' efforts? That this is a popular idea, even among some gun owners. Not everyone wants AR-15s outlawed, but there are some, you know, who call it America's rifle. But this might surprise viewers. Nearly two-thirds of Americans do support a ban, according to the latest CBS News polling. I, I want you to take a listen to Kitty Brantner. She's the founder of March 4th. This is a law that protects the Second Amendment and American lives at the same time. It is so important to remember that this is not a conversation about guns or no guns. This is simply saying the weapons that were designed for war should stay in war. And majority of America agrees that agrees with that. The, the other point that Brantner was quick to make is that survivors like the ones that she organizes with, they're re-traumatized every time a mass shooting happens, Lindsay. They relive their worst days all over again. And so this issue has prompted, on top of everything else, a mental health crisis, which often gets missed amid all of the breaking news coverage here. Nicole Skanga, important reporting. Thank you. Thank you.